<laughs> okay, we just walked into the pool and there's all these girls and I think they're all going to be watching us. Make a fool of ourselves. I feel like I don't belong here. <laughs> and I am the head coach of Seattle Synchro. Today we're gonna do something very basic. So it's what we teach the little kids. It's your body awareness and the basics for you to stay above the water. So it's a beater, which is a circular motion of your legs, alternating your legs, and then your synchronized uh, scrolling of your hands. But it requires a great deal of endurance and strength. <laughs> you will get used to it, Jake. Okay, that's good enough, I think. Just take a deep breath, sink, and then come back up. Like that. Whoop. Five, six, seven, and one. Yeah! We're gonna do something called back layout, which is your toes on the wall, and you're gonna keep your arms by your side, and you're gonna do a sculling. Hold you in place. This is what we do with little kids. Bring your tummy up to the, yeah, lay back. There we go. So Jake, it's your turn. <laughs> Pretend you're saying bye bye to the wall. The next thing you're gonna do is call a top position. There, but bend your knees. There we go. And back lay out. Yeah. Both knees, bend both knees and then turn. So this is called ping wheel. Yes. The only thing you're missing, Jake, is that you have to be floating on the surface. You're doing something highly technical, but then you have you have to convey an emotion. And the last thing you're gonna do is call an oyster, which you're gonna fold your body and you're gonna sink. Look at them. You're gonna bring your knees and you're gonna turn around. Yes. Hard. All right. Now we're gonna test your memory. And we're gonna do it all together. Depending how high you go, you get a score. Very nice. Well done. I think you did amazing. Um, you did pretty well. We need to start working on pointing your toes, though. Pointing your toes, though. Yes. Oh, that was the weirdest <laughs> sensation being lifted up out of the water by all of these swimmers. Unbelievable. I don't yeah. know how they do that I as a group. Either. Yeah, I wasn't standing <laughs> up properly, though. I was just letting them throw me in the water. So that's a difficult sport. Swimming is one thing. Dancing is another. Swim dancing and artistic swim swimming <laughs> swim is much dancing. more challenging. Though. And so is uh, having the nose plug. Oh, yeah. No, uh, that's not that's, my thing. Yeah, you definitely need it you because need you it. are doing underwater flips upside down. Yeah. So that was very helpful. Uh, very good fun. job, my friend. Thank you were you great. Thank you to Seattle you Synchro great for teaching hard. us a lesson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very great. Uh, Kiana Hunter and Audrey Kwan, by the way, from Seattle Synchro will compete on Monday. And we should also note the junior team that we worked with won nationals last week in Portland. So congratulations. Yeah, there. A lot of it's talent. been a fun week because earlier yeah. this week we tried gymnastics, track and field, breaking, and archery. And if you want to see all of those videos, you can just go to our YouTube page. We posted all of them right there for you to watch.